Oh, very, very cool, very. I was just sitting down here and let's go in and I saw a video of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu during the campaign for the 2023 presidential election. And I must say something to you. In all honesty, uh, Tinubu has done amazingly well in fulfilling his election promises. And so... When people are sitting down here and then trying to form, oh, Tinubu economy is bad, this is bad, we don't have money, you don't have this, what are you expecting? This man literally told you he was going to do this thing, and some of you said, oh, he was the best thing after Jollof Rice, that it is locum, it is emilocum, it is ton and whatever. Well, here's the ton. There's always ton for everything. There's ton for suffering. There's ton for going through hell. There's ton for life uh, happening to you. There's ton for there's ton for one million and one things that, that are bad or can go wrong. And so that ton is actually what Nigerians are, are, are going through uh, right now. Just Let me just allow you to, to watch the video yourself. We reduce the purchasing power of the people. We can further slow down the economy. Let's widen the tax net. Those who are not paying now, if it is inclusive of Boibola Tunubu, let the nets get bigger and we take in more taxes. And that is what we must do in the country instead of additional layer of taxes. Exactly. So what is it What is it that is happening now that uh, Tinibu, Tinibu did not say that uh, he was going to do? First of all, he said he was going to reduce the purchasing power. And that's exactly what he has done. He has reduced the purchasing power uh, of people. People no longer have, you know, monies in their hands. They, they have stopped. So everything that is luxury, they are cutting off everything and turning... It into base. There was a tweet I saw the other day. I wish I wish I you know sometimes it's when you're talking and then in the course of like I'm doing video when I'm not doing my video, oh I say something and I'm realizing that oh I should actually uh have looked for that particular you know uh uh tweet to 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 to, to I should have looked for that particular thing. So there's this tweet that I, I, I saw earlier and I read it to my husband where someone I'll try and find a phrase. I think it was Akin Tolkit that so I could basically maybe just go search uh, for him. So basically what he was saying in that uh, tweet uh, is that, look, more and more people are sort of like reducing their... Um, uh, okay, yes, I've seen the tweet now. I, I actually, I actually retweeted it. They, I think they call it post now on Twitter. I said, from cutting out dry cleaning expenses to discontinuing lesson teachers to avoiding fumigation costs, to video calling relatives rather than catching flights, Nigerian households are eliminating luxuries that create employment opportunities for SMEs and economic uh, stimulation. And he said, sad. So that's the reality of what, what we have right now. So people are cutting out business. What you don't realize is that, yes, it's easy to say, okay, I no longer do this. I will no longer do that again. I'll wash in my house. I'll use my washing machine. I'll do this. But there are people, there are jobs and people who are dependent on those things. And so automatically it costs them out. And then they will not be able to get those things. And people who are working there, some of them will lose their jobs. Some of them will... will uh, will be forced to either collect, receive a salary cut and all of that. But it's it's such a vicious circle that goes on. And so what those people that used to get paid that no longer get paid would have money to be able to use to spend on goods and services. And so therefore the goods and services that are dependent on these people to always also spend money on them, we no longer have customers, you know, coming to buy uh, from them and then they also we now have to reduce their production have to lay people off and then it just continues on but back to the thing that i was saying so uh Tinibu, like you saw in that video did say that he was going to reduce the purchasing you know power of the people and that's exactly uh what he has done so when nigerians are sitting down and shouting and screaming you're wondering 
what's this what's this what is this what are these people you know talking about and then another thing also he said was that he was going to slow down the economy so economies are supposed to be growing you know when they grow that's when you're talking about the gdp economic growth is coming in the gdp is increasing and all of that but this is someone who before the 2023 uh, election did say he was going to slow down uh, the economy and that's it exactly what he has done he has been superb in slowing down the economy in destroying the economy and so Tinibu has really done well in the things that he said he is going to do he has really delivered on all his promises uh Tinibu also said he was going to widen the tax net he was going that's like you saw there he was going to get more people paying taxes more people you know they are taxing people more and everything and that's exactly what he is he's doing that's what he thinks is the way to get out of this economy quagmire that nigeria finds itself which is tax 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 and tax more so whatever it is that nigerians are going, are going through now there are some nigerians that actually voted for that and that's it even though yeah majority of nigerians you know did not uh, vote for him. I, 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 I see that majority of Nigerians chose the person who they felt was going to do a better job and the person indeed did win uh, even though he was rigged out uh, of the election. So there is a certain kind of pain that Nigerians go through. I, I, I must say to you, I really don't, I, I can't empathize. I really don't feel it because at the end of the day, the, the, sometimes one needs to go through very hard life for one to be able to have sense i think that's the word that i'm going to use for one to be able to 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 have sense otherwise you find that, that people just refuse you know to have the sense that they're supposed to do and they behave anywhere and there are people that you tell them this is the outcome of certain uh uh decisions they're going to make and they don't take the advice and so it is only fair to allow them to to go through whatever it is that they wanted to go through. Because like I always say, uh, some people cannot learn from other people's experience. They want to learn from their own experience. And so why would you deny them the opportunity for them, you know, to have that experience that they want they want to have? So it, 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 it's okay. Allow them be. Let them, let them do day. Let them uh, sort of like uh, go through and uh, just enjoy what it is that that they want to enjoy at the end of the day but uh in fairness to tinibu and tinibu did say he was going to continue from where buhari stopped and buhari stopped at buhari destroyed the the, the country and so tinibu of course what do you expect he's going to come in and destroy it more for those nigerians who are always ready to reward failure someone has done badly and then you reward him again he's going to do worse and this thing that we do always sitting down and praying to God to come and fix Nigeria. It, it, it's just nonsense because uh, God will not do for us what he has given us the capacity for us to do for ourselves. If I sat down and I didn't record this video, I didn't put it on my YouTube page or any of my social media places, you wouldn't see the video. No matter how much I sit down and I pray to God, I fast and pray that you get to see the message. You wouldn't. Why? Because God has given me the capacity to take my phone, to film a video, put my thoughts out there. You know, if I want to edit it, edit it. If I don't want to edit it, leave it like that. And post it. And if I refuse to do any of these things, and I sit and I'm praying, I, must, as I, I am as unserious as unserious can be. And that's exactly the same thing we do in Nigeria. We really need to change that. Thank you for watching. Bye.